not good at this stuff. Um, hi, I'm Alexis, and if you're watching this, you probably know that because I'm gonna put this on my Instagram. Welcome to my... Welcome to my channel, guys. Like, subscribe, and comment. I had a talk with my friend Tatum last night, and we were like, what can, what, like, what other things can we do during curfew slash quarantine in Paris? And I was like, let's just start vlogging, I guess, because it's kind of something to do. Yeah, I'm sitting on my floor right now because there's like decent lighting right here and it's elevated enough. But this time is harder than it looks, so we'll we'll have fun with that. I have a whole agenda of things to do today, and it is uh, probably one, don't know, but I am the queen of being late to things, so I'm just gonna take you around on my little errand run, and you can see a day in the life of Alexis in Paris. <laughs> It's absolutely freezing, and I cannot wait for people to start looking at me like I'm a psycho and speaking English into a camera, but we're going to Chomsi today. So, getting on the metro right now, and just left my apartment. Um, hands are actually freezing. We'll talk soon. see me um i went to hanak and could not find a blender so now i'm grocery shopping i have a list for galentine's day and i can't find floss anywhere which is annoying but we're in monoprix I got some sushi <laughs> from good. Monoprix. Got our groceries for Valentine's Day. Or Galentine's. Yes. She got some 20 cent books. That we can paint in, but we don't have paint. Mm hmm I hope this tape is the right tape. Please. I don't want to go back. Also, oh. I'm probably going to have Julia go with me to get paint because... Why not? This looks like the right tape. We love sushi. See, I have the love sushi. lines on my forehead for my my I'm beanie. So I'm gonna have to bleep out anytime I swear. No. For my mom. It's gonna be like. Can you swear in front of your mom though? No, never. She'd kill me. Wait, no way. Never, mother. Bro, I swear in front of my mom all the time. Uh uh. What was I looking for? I swear there's something else. We've arrived. Where? Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god. What the You're f- I fucking hate COVID. Literally fuck this pandemic. I'm in- We just came to this boba place and it closed today because of plumbing, so. <laughs> well, update, we made it to the other one that is <laughs> 10 minutes away, which is super random. And we're waiting in line. Gonna come back soon for uh, bubble results. Retrieve the goods. Um, Tatum went to go pick up her roommate or me, her roommate, and I am going to pick up chocolate that my boyfriend ordered me. So we're on the way to do that, and then going home and getting ready and going back to Tatum's for Galentine's. And super loud. And I want to drink my matcha, but I'm not taking my mask off. So we'll update soon.
I just got home and I'm so pissed. I left my matcha in Palm Creek when I was buying paper towels. I'm upset. I had like a quarter of it and I left it there, which is so upsetting. On a better note, um, got a lot of stuff today and I wanna look at my chocolate. Okay. I know that this up top is macarons because, good lord, that's cute. Um, she let me pick them all out and they're so pretty. Different flavors. Yum, 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 yum. That is one of my favorite desserts. I just spilled them all, so here's what they look like in the box. And, let's see. This one is like a legit, legit box. <laughs> Thanks, Mike, for always getting me stuff even though I live a bajillion miles away. I had to pick it up today because like everything else, it was closed on Sunday in Paris, and tomorrow's Valentine's Day, so that was really nice of him. That's so cute. I do not know how that did not melt on the way home, to be honest, and this box is crazy heavy. Also, when I was at FNAC trying to find a back massager, which I did not find, I found this set. So yeah, we're becoming real YouTube stars out here, guys. Um, I have it on this little... What is it called? Tripod right now? And it came with like a bunch of other stuff. So, gonna use that. But, um, yeah, still a little bit heartbroken about my matcha. Not gonna lie. I've been wanting to share my traveling experiences, um, especially during the pandemic. I know it's, it's hard to travel in general, and then going to school abroad during a pandemic is hard. And so, I figured like if anybody has questions about anything or wants to know what the process was, because it can be kind of confusing. I would love to share but i think i'll probably just end up doing um vlog videos i'm gonna try to take videos tonight at our galentine's day party just because it's kind of fun pulling out a camera i definitely get why people do this and i think it'll be fun to hear from different people and record them as well and yeah had a good day this is probably one of the most not most one of the more busy days i've had since i've been back um i came back i think february 1st it's just been really quiet with lockdown because no cafes are open. Everything closes at 6, so you have to get groceries and drinks and whatever before 6. Usually we get food delivered. Like last night we got ramen delivered, which was really good, and that was after 6. But other than that, you're not technically supposed to be out or like on the metro, but they don't really check as much as they did back in December. Um, school's back in person, so we had class on Thursday and Friday, and we have class all next week and on monday tuesday and then we have another mini break so depending on what i do on the mini break i'm gonna try to record that as well but to all my friends and family who are watching this thanks for sticking to out to this point and i hope you guys continue to watch see you in a little bit is it on a year to what a year of good Do you think that's mine here? It's yours? Okay, then yours. She's tasting. Got a taste test. I don't know. She always does this. No, we need more lemon. Um, you like have to know what you're making. Google taste test. Okay. So our bartender Alexis likes to taste test. I do. Uh, I cannot give out drinks that are not approved. She says this. That's, that's absurd. Oh my god, my hair is coming out. Do you want things or not? Yes. Lexi is the best bartender that I've ever come across. She is amazing at drinks. I don't know. Glass one. Oh, here it is. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, it is 2 49 a.m. I am home. It's been a crazy day on the metro and Ubers. Without tourists, there's like less people in the metro and out at night, and so it's just way, way more quiet in general. It's way more quiet, which is nice because it's like you can enjoy Paris, but when it's lately, there's just weird people on the metro, not in the right mind. 
and I Ubered home tonight because I usually do that when it's too late or like the metro's closed. And even when I got out of the Uber, and I live in the 16th, so I live in one of the safest neighborhoods like in Central Paris, and there was a guy outside the Uber that was like waving. He just did weird stuff to the window and I was facing me and my mom on the way home. And I was like, what the heck? And my Uber driver was like, I'll wait for you and watch you like go inside. And earlier on the Metro, the same thing happened. There was like a weird guy that was essentially cussing people out. And I moved by some other guy and he was like, just sit in front of me, it's okay. And I was like, thank you. Well, I'm kind of excited for things to open up again because well, obviously we're all excited for things to open up again, but it'll be nice to have people traveling again for so many reasons. Meeting new people, people being able to experience new things. Just having it be like more lively. There's so much more life when everybody can travel. So I'm excited for that. But I made tortellini. Um, a lot of pasta today because I made the Brisson pasta. Well, it's like the feta TikTok pasta, but I made it with Brisson instead of feta and it was so, so good tonight. Good night, night. I dropped my tortellini in my, my dishwasher. That's a wrap for today. Um, a couple people on my Instagram story today were like, how's Paris? Like, what's life like over there? Because I posted more than usual. And I'm excited for this video to come out. So hopefully I edit this tomorrow. If you're watching this and it's like a week after the uh, 13th or 14th, then you know that I'm nervous to post it, but I'm gonna make myself post it because it's fun. Plus it's fun to talk to people in the early a.m. I live by myself, so I don't have any roommates, and <laughs> so it's fun talking to the camera. It's not pink. Much love to all, and so many hugs and kisses to anybody who watches this. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Stay tuned. Good night. <laughs>